Hey guys, Joshua Griffin here. Before we get to the video, please click that subscribe button. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin here, serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia. And wanted to do a video uh, kind of in that series. Uh, we've already done two of them on basically a series of HVAC brands and overviews of those brands. And so next in line, we've got the Ream lineup. And Ream is an interesting brand to me, at least in our local area. There are some, some suppliers, several suppliers that offer Ream and Rude products. And then, you know, obviously there's some, you know, some competitors and contractors and things like that that also offer it. I'm just going to do a quick overview. And here's the thing with Ream. I, I, I had a, well, I had a Rude rep. Uh, come to us, and we actually even installed a few of them. I didn't hate them; they're they're they were okay products. But one of our things that I've always, you know, hung my hat on, if you will, is being able to offer something that no one else is offering. And so I remember I, I met with the rep, and my one of my questions to him, I said, "Well, what do you guys offer?" that no one else offers? What, what What's something proprietary, something unique, something that, that I can, if I'm talking to a homeowner, that I can offer that no one else can offer? And he didn't really have an answer to that. I mean, he had the normal, you know, we think we're the best sort of answer, but nothing actually, you know, specific. And so, so I thought that was interesting. If you're watching this video and you're, you know, a little more familiar with the, the line and, you know, you know something that they are offering. I, I went on their website, really, I, I found some things that Ream did before anyone else did, which is kind of cool. But I, the, the, and the only real thing that I can really find on there right now is they do have a, a furnace that looks like is pretty high on the AFU rating. It's like 98.7%. So, I thought that was kind of cool, but yeah. So if you, I mean, if if you know something that I I don't know, you know, I don't know everything, then I'll you know put it down in the comments below and let's chat about it. Uh, maybe there's something I'm missing that they're offering. Uh, one one thing about their their lineup and their and, and more specifically, I'm talking about their heat pumps. And that is, they're one of the only companies in the world that offer uh, their reversing valves to engage in heating mode versus cooling mode. Okay, so if that, if you put voltage to the reversing valve, that heat pump is now going to, going to be in heating mode. I I actually like that. I'm going to be completely honest with you. It, you know, it it wasn't the end all, but I, I do like that. And the reason is if, if let's just say if, a, a, you know, it's rare, but you know, it's happened. If a reversing valve coil were to fail with a lot of other brands, you're going to now be in heating mode. And, you know, a lot of systems, are, they're going to have some sort of backup heat anyway. So I do think it's kind of beneficial that if, if, if it were a ream or rude product and that coil were to fail, you're still going to be able to get heat with your heat, you know, your backup heat, but you're also going to be able to get AC uh, with that heat pump. So, I, you know, that's one thing I can definitely throw out there. So let's let's get into the brands themselves. So Ream is, and I'm not really sure how it all works. You know, who the who the big, you know, conglomerate is that offers it all. You know that that owns it all. That might be Ream it's themselves. I'm not sure. Uh, I, it looks like that they're either affiliated or owned by uh, a brand called Paloma. And I, the only time I've seen Paloma in my, you know, around here is I do I did have a tankless water heater with that brand on it. There's not a lot of suppliers offering that brand in our area. Getting away from that, if we're talking about the heating and air side of things. You've kind of got Ream and Rude, you know, they're kind of like pretty much the same. They're the equivalent to one another. 
Um, so if you've got a contractor coming to your house trying to sell you a ream and another contractor selling you a rood, uh, you're, you're able to compare apples to apples. The parts are interchangeable. It's basically the same equipment with a different label on it. So, and that's not uncommon. I've, I've mentioned that with several other brands in our videos. So, but I just want you to be aware of that. If you have two different contractors pushing those two different brands, that they're basically selling you the same thing. And then, you know, they're actually affiliated with a few other brands. Go to Wikipedia if you want to know what all those brands are. I'm not going to get into all of that. One brand that I see that they make that I have seen in our area is Weather King. I have seen that uh, in my, you know, career. Uh, I've come across that brand before. So, anyway, I, I don't know if any of this helps. If you're comparing Ream to another brand... I will say this, I do have friends that are in this line of work and they will not sell anything else. They have their reasons and I think that uh, those are, you know, valid reasons to them. You know, if you if you have a contractor that is trying to sell you Ream, feel free to ask them, why, why do you sell this and not something else? I've always said at Griffin Air, we don't sell what we sell because my dad owned the business or you know, I inherited the business or bought the business or whatever. I started Griffin Air from the ground up and tried multiple brands, tr you know, tested them out, made sure they were going to reach our standards. And, and that's how we decided on it. So if you're talking to somebody and they're talking about the, you know, the Ream or Rude brands, and it is pronounced Rude, by the way, uh, if you say it wrong, uh, you say, a, you know, Rudd or something else like that, uh, they, for some reason, get offended. So they, it is rude. So if you have somebody trying to push either rude or ream with you and try to sell you something, uh, just ask them why. Why do you why this and not you know something else? So and you know they might give you a really good reason. You know, I don't think one. And I'm, and I'm going to do a video on this soon. But I don't think that there's one brand that's better than the rest in every market. Okay? I'm going to say that again. There's not one brand that's better than the rest in every market. And, and I'll give you a good example. One of the brands that we sell, I used to deal with this supplier when I lived in Richmond with a company that I worked for. And they were not fun to deal with. They were... I'm not going to get into, you know, all the ins and outs, but let's just say that they weren't great. And, um, but they are not, so that the way the suppliers work, they own their own sets of stores and then they're franchised, I guess. And so the, the, the supplier that we use down here, way better, very responsive. They've been great. Uh, so, you know, that's that's one example of, you know, you might have, you know, suppliers or even brands. There's some markets that some brands are just not available. You just can't get it. So how could you say that that brand is the best in, you know, in every market across the nation? Oh, there's Buck. <laughs> um, how can you say that that's the best brand, you know, in every market across the nation if, you know, you can't even get it in that market, right? So, you know, who's to say if you were to go to a, a particular market, it's very possible that whether it's Ream and Rude or another brand might be way better than everybody else in that market, if that makes sense. So last thing if you are in the market for a new heating and air system, you've got to check out my new website. It's called New HVAC Guide. I'll put a link to it down in the notes, but you got to check out this website. It's the 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 who's who. It's, I, we have a page called No Nos, a page that goes through everything to avoid if you're going to buy a heating and air system. It's an entire guide. We're going to guide you through the process. From step one to step 15, uh, we're going to go through things like how to select your brand, how to select your contractor, and just so much more. Things that heating and air manufacturers don't even want you to know in some cases. 
I'm going to share that with you on this website. If you have any comments, uh, questions, anything like that, put them down in the comments. And we really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you.